Here locally, some nurses at Rady Children's Hospital are on strike right now. This strike expected to last through Wednesday. Just began. CBS 8's Chris Grow live outside the hospital to explain what the nurses are demanding. And you got reaction from the hospital as well. Good morning, Chris. Hey, good morning. We have, we have officially heard from both sides here and what has essentially become a stalemate here at the bargaining table. Now, I want to step aside here and show you the many uh, local union nurses as well as Teamsters here rallying in support of the pediatric nurses here at Rady Children's Hospital. You can see a number of them with their signs, many of them pointing out that the math is not adding up for them when it comes to these latest offers. Now, let's break down what we're hearing as it as it stands as far as what the bargaining and where they last left things. Now, they voted to authorize this strike about two weeks ago, and that was after they received an offer that said that they would be getting a 22% raise over about three years. The problem is, according to the union, is that they don't believe that they are actually seeing that play out for the average nurse, that, again, the 8% raise that they would get at the beginning of that offer, followed by those subsequent 4% raises, doesn't add up to 22 or even 25%, and that the, again, additional benefits that the hospital is counting on aren't adding up for them. So that is according to what the nurses are saying. As far as what the hospital is saying, they want to be able, they're saying that they want to be able to get these nurses uh, back to the bedside, that they want to be, uh, be able to have the children, the patients get the best care possible, but they are stuck right now as this strike has begun today at 6 o'clock and will last until Wednesday at 6 o'clock. Take a listen to what the lead negotiator, the head of the local chapter here for the Nurses Union, told us earlier this morning. The bulk of our membership is currently 21% to 28% behind market value. So even with a significant offer from the hospital, it doesn't change that. Many of our nurses work for DM jobs at other hospitals to kind of fill in the gap. Um, they're relying on spouses, medical insurance to fill in the gap. It's just we can't sustain ourselves on radies alone. We have to seek outside sources. That was Katie Langenstrasse, who again is the head of the local eunuch uh, Teamsters 1699, that being the local chapter, also a pediatric nurse here. We also spoke with Dr. Patrick Frias, the president and CEO of Rady Children's Hospital, about the ongoing negotiations. Here's what he told us. Our focus turns completely, as always, to the children and making sure that we're here to care for the kids every single day. We have hundreds of nurses who've come here to support us from across the country and work alongside our care teams. They're trained in pediatrics and come from some of the top children's hospitals across the country. And so as you can hear him say there, they do have nurses that are filling in those who are out on strike. They're from across the nation. Uh, they have been brought in, they have been trained, and they will work these next two days during this strike. As for both sides, they both told me today, I asked them, will you be going back to the bargaining table even after this strike? Both sides said yes. So again, this could be a gap that closes soon here and they get that new CBA signed. About a, probably about a three-year deal where we could again see them go back to the bargaining table in three years. Eric Anetta.